Hey, this is Jeff, and we are here with USP Pro. In this video, we will look at the demo forms that are included with USP Pro and see how to include any of them on any post or page. So here we have USP Pro installed and activated, so we are ready to go. Now we can visit USP Forms. Here are the forms that are included with USP Pro. There are six of them, and they're all in draft status. Now, what draft status means is that we can preview the form on the front end, like when we're editing or making changes, but draft status means that the forms won't show up if we try to include them on a poster page using the short code. Let's see how that works. So, here is the short code for this demo. Likewise, here is the short code for this demo, and so forth. Each form has its own short code. Even if you create a new form, which we'll see in a future video, then that form that you create will have its own shortcode. And the shortcodes, again, enable you to display the form on a separate poster page instead of viewing the form directly via its own URL. So instead of looking at this URL, we want to see the form at the URL of your post or page whichever poster page that is going to display the short code. So let's go ahead and see how that works. We copy the short code and choose a page, paste, update, and now let's view the page on the front end and we see only the submit post button and that is a good indicator that something is wrong and in this case it is because of draft status. The form is not yet published. So if you see this, go back into your form and click the publish button. And then once the form is published, you'll be able to refresh the page and see the form. And notice it is the notice that the form is displayed at its at the URL of the page. This is the page URL, not the form URL. So that's the difference between um, draft status and publish status. If it's a draft status, we can preview and work on the form via the form URL. And if it is published, then we can use the short code on any post or page. So now that we understand that, let's go through these forms uh, quickly and see what each one is doing. Here is the USP form demo. This is a replica of the form that's included with the free version of USP. And it includes short codes for each of the fields. And we could remove these if we wanted to. Love WordPress, like that. So we could clean those up and simplify the form. Or we could use these quick tags to add more fields and we could add custom fields, as we'll see in uh, future videos. So for now, let's just uh, keep moving. This next form is a contact form demo, and it includes all of the fields that are usually used in contact forms, and we'll see that again in future videos. We have a user registration demo, which we'll cover later. Image preview, this shows how the uh, image preview works for image uploads. This is a classic form demo, and this starter form demo here really is just meant for your information. It does work, but it's pretty huge, so I wouldn't recommend using it on a live site. See, it goes through each field, explains the attributes, and it's just a huge form. We can submit this form, it will work, but we'd have to go through and make sure that all the fields were filled out, that the files were selected and all that. So use this to learn and, and then and get examples from and get ideas. But um, these demo forms up here, these first five are going to be better suited if you need to make changes, customize, and get up and running quickly. Now, with that in mind, let's get into a couple tips here 
first we'll look at how to customize one of these forms. We can either go in directly and make changes by adding or deleting, like so, or we can copy, click Add New, paste into place, and then edit from a, a new form, just using the same short codes and fields. And that's the second way of editing uh, or customizing a form. Now let's say that we want to regenerate the form. Um, here's a quick way to show how it's done. Let's move all of our forms to the trash bin and empty the trash. Now you'll see that the forms are magically regenerated just like they were when the plugin was first installed. And if we don't want to regenerate the forms, we can head over to USP Pro Settings, go to Advanced, and Auto-Generate Form Demos. Oops, right here. We can enable this or disable this, and the forms will not be regenerated. So that's about it for this video. Let's uh, do a quick recap. Here on the USP Forms page, we have our form demos that are included with the plugin. Um, and if we create any new forms, they also will be listed here. Each demo form is by default in draft status and includes its own shortcode that we can use once the form is published. So when a form is in draft status, we can work on it and see it directly. Um, when it's published, then we can use its shortcode, as we saw here on the example page. So let's take one more quick look at that before wrapping up. See here, the example page only shows the submit button. And so we can head over to USP Forms and publish the form like so. And we see now that the shortcode displays the the published form. So that's about it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.